Don't worry, my king. I will set you free. Finally, he freed the lion from the trap. The lion realized that even a little mouse can be a great help. Once upon a time, there lived a lion who ruled the forest. One day, after eating his meal, the lion fell asleep under a tree. A little mouse saw him and thought it would be fun to play on him. He began running up and down the sleeping lion. He walked on his back. He grabbed the mouse with his huge paw. The mouse, str the mouse struggled but could not escape. The mouse was very scared. Oh king, I am very scared. Please don't eat me. Forgive me this time. Please let me go. I shall never forget it and maybe one day I can help you. The lion was so amused by the idea of the mouse being able to help him that he lifted up his paw and let him go. Thank you, king. I will never forget your kindness. You are lucky my friend that I just ate. Now go but don't mess with me again. Or I will make a meal of you. Hunters set a trap to catch the lion. As he did, the hunters pulled the ropes and caught him in the cage. The lion was roaring loudly. The mouse heard the roar. The king is in trouble. I must return the favor. He soon reached the lion. Don't worry, don't worry, my king. I will set you free. He climbed up the trap and used his sharp little teeth to bite through the ropes. Finally, he freed the lion from the trap. The lion realized that even a little mouse can be a great help. Thank you, Mouse. I will never trouble you again. Live happily in my forest. You saved the king's life. Now you are the prince of this forest. Thank you, King. Bye. See you soon. Where are you going? Don't you want to play on me? 
Lion and Mouse became friends forever. The moral of the story is, even the smallest can help the largest.